So, the other day I was just looking around and I happened to see the Ubuntu Budgie website. I went over to their download page and I saw that they had an image for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I, was, I got really excited to see what it was and it's actually Ubuntu 21.04 which is supposed to come in April. So this image is development but it is looking incredibly promising and we'll go over the performance and everything that it can do in a second. But first, I do want to mention that the, how to install it. So basically, you just go direct download, and you download it to your computer, and then you use Etch or Raspberry Pi image with a flash it to an SD card, or I am USB booting right now, and it's totally compatible. So it works awesome with USB booting. And then you just plug it into your Pi, boot it up, and there's a bit of a setup, but it's really easy. But here's a little video of me going through that setup. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ubuntu Budgie 21.04 on our Raspberry Pi 4. So, as you know, Ubuntu Budgie does have a really clean desktop look. What I feel, what I find interesting about it is it has the Mac OS look on the dock and the top bar, but then you look at it, the cursor has the Windows look, and then if we open up like our file manager, you see that the Excel buttons have the Windows look too. So it kind of brings those two operating systems together, mushes them together, and get, gives you its own really aesthetic look. So it looks really cool in my opinion. It's super clean and it's a really nice operating system. So we have, like I do, did say, we have a playing dock on the bottom right here. These are all the pre installed applications that come on this operating system. We have this widget with our time right here. And then we have our turn off button, our logout notifications. Bluetooth, sound, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi, all that stuff is on the top bar right here. Right here, we also have our time. And right here, if we click on this Ubuntu Budgie logo, we have an app drawer right here where, where we can see all of our apps and everything that, that's on our system. So we can also go right here and see them in this type of category, which for some people, this type of category is better because they can search apps and they can see it in internet graphics games. So that's why they enjoy it. And actually, to take a look at the new stuff that they've added to this version of Ubuntu Budgie, I'm going to open up Chromium Web Browser. And Chromium did not come pre-installed, actually. I had to install it myself, but that is because it just performs so much better than Firefox. Like, I tried Firefox, and it's just slow and sluggish, but this one was incredibly fast, and it just feels much more like Web Browser. So if we go over to the Raspberry Pi 4 images, we have these readme notes, and I was actually surprised with all the things they packed into this little operating system for the Raspberry Pi 4. So the, there's a lot of information here actually, but summary that tells you what hardware it runs on. Oh, this one I was really excited about, the Budgie Arm Pi configuration tool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, and then we'll continue reading through this thing. So if we go right here and go to just type, budgie arm configuration and this thing works super well i'm not gonna lie if you go over to layout right here i am on the standard desktop recommended and the standard has the dock and the bar at the top if you change it to compact there's no dock at the bottom there's only a top bar and it makes your desktop bigger but it does make the performance a bit better because it's lighter weight it's not running plank at the same time so if you want that kind of desktop feel free to do it it works really well They've even added a custom overclocking button to this thing. You can overclock to 2 gigahertz by just clicking that button, set clock speed, you reboot, and it works incredibly well. And you can see your temperature right here, 57 degrees, mine. So it's super awesome that it's this easy to do. Like you don't need Commander Pi or anything like that. It does it all for you from this app that comes pre-installed. We can go to remote desktop and we can actually enable VNC, which a lot of people use for their Raspberry Pi, so this would be pretty useful. You can see your IP address right here, and it's super easy to do SSH access. You can find my Pi server. Like if I clicked on that, 
you activate the server and I can turn that off. So it's just super easy and makes everything really cool. We can go to display and we can change our video mode. So over on the form right here, if I scroll down, they tell you what one they recommend using. Uh, where was it? So they say that you should use KMS right here, GP memory adjustments. And they recommend using KMS for using a desktop for but for remote desktop they recommend using fake KMS. So I am on the KMS right now because I'm using this as a desktop. It comes with fake KMS, but I think I did feel a little bit of improvement after I changed it to KMS. So that might be one thing you want to think about. You can change the GPU memory if you like, and that's really easy to do. And yeah, so it's a really cool tool to have pre-installed and makes doing things really easy. I'll just X out of there and let's go back to this one and most of the apps that come pre-installed on here are just the classic apps that come on Ubuntu like Firefox, Files, Terminal but we actually have Termix because that is the default of Budgie Terminal so or, I mean not Termix, Telix. why did I say Termix? and if we look at NeoFetch which I already installed too we have the nice Ubuntu Budgie logo and this is HeroSuit Hippo development branch and my Raspberry Pi model. Everything about my Raspberry Pi is here. So it gives a real nice detailed version and I can see that this is Ubuntu Budgie on my Raspberry Pi. Next, let's take a look at the Budgie Welcome. So this thing is actually on normal desktop computers, but I was surprised to see it on the Raspberry Pi 2. It's just a super cool improvement and I'm happy to see it. So there's tons of information here, but what I was actually excited about was the themes and layouts. If I click on there, there are all these themes that are already here that you can change to. There's tons of them, but there is Mojave, and then there was White Sur. So I want to try White Sur. I'm going to click install and see. It's supposed to give me like a Big Sur look. I haven't tried this before. I don't know what it does or if it even works. So let's just see. So I'm clicking install. I don't know if it is doing anything or not. But these other ones look like they're already pre-installed. Like this one, Quagger Budgie. So if I want to apply makeover. Like apply makeover. Is it going to work? Um, so these things might be something you need to play around with and look around. Because they... They did mention that some stuff aren't working on this development image yet, but they might be working on it for when they release the real version. But yeah, it's still cool, and they're working on it. I mean, you can't get everything right the first time. So next, to take a look at some web browsing performance. Let's just type Amazon.com and see if it comes up. So it performs pretty much like the Chromium browser on Raspberry Pi OS. Not much slower, pretty much similar. I mean, it's really responsive. You can do everything you need to do. And yeah, it's pretty good. Next, let's take a look at YouTube. YouTube performance wasn't the greatest, but I mean, it's understandable. And yeah. Like, let's just open up Big Buck Bunny. So let's just search for Big Buck Bunny. And right here, Big Buck Bunny. So we can make it full screen right here. And then we'll change the display to 720p. If it's not already at 720. Because I'm not even going to try 1080. It won't be useful. So it is at 720. We can turn on stats for nerds real fast. And I could just like skip to the middle right here. And yeah, it is... There are a lot of frames being skipped. You see it's kind of not that fun to watch. I mean, 720, it's it's watchable. But yeah, it, it's fine. It's not the greatest, not the best, but it, it is doable. So web browsing is pretty good on this. YouTube performance, middle, not the greatest. Firefox is a lot worse than Chromium, so I'm not going to use that right now. And yeah, so the file manager does have this nice look to it, and it all the, everything on Ubuntu Budgie looks extremely clean and just beautiful. They make it look really elegant and some kind of operating system that you'd want to use. 
not that you want a theme that you want to use it this way and it's really cool to see that they're doing all this work for the raspberry pi 4 like the new arm configuration app they're coding these different things getting them working so i'm excited to see what's going to happen in the future with this operating system it looks incredibly promising and i'm ready to see what they're going to do to this in the future so thanks for watching and let me know what you think about this